In this video we will show you how to move and rotate point cloud using coordinates transformation tool. We will show you three different cases in which you might need to move or rotate your point cloud. Firstly we will talk about aligning point cloud to main axis. Everything related with coordinate system management can be found in a undet coordinate system window which can be called by pressing extensions, undet coordinate systems. Over here you will be able to change rotation angles, shift X, Y, Z coordinates, move, rotate or reset point cloud position. In this case we need to align our point cloud project to main axis, so our first step will be to move point cloud project. To do it, select corner of the building which will be aligned with main axis and move it to center of axis using move tool from coordinate system parameters window. Second step is to select rotation tool and rotate point cloud so that our building walls will be aligned with X and Y axis. In our last step we will lift our point cloud project so that our Z value won't be negative. This step can be done using move tools as well. Secondly we will talk about aligning point cloud to already existing object. Once again we will open undet coordinate systems window. This time we want to move point cloud project and fit it to already modeled object. To do this we will use same workflow as we did to align point cloud with main axis. First step will be to move point cloud project using move tool from coordinate system parameters window. After that we will rotate point cloud project and align it to building model walls. Last step is to adjust Z value, this time I will use tape measure tool and change Z value so that it will be same with 3D model. It is important to note that in current release of Undet you will have to save your SketchUp file with Undet project still opened, because if you will save it after you close Undet project shifted coordinates values will be lost. To prevent that, we recommend to write down those values or take a screenshot in case you will be working on this project for a longer period of time. Lastly we will talk about shifting point cloud project from large coordinates to optimized for 3D modeling. For this case I will open another undet project, which will have large coordinates. Undet will recognize this and will ask you if you want to shift your project coordinates because they are very large and 3D and 2D modeling in large coordinate system might cause unexpected behavior. Majority of softwares have some issues while processing large coordinates. Some functions might not work properly while others might not work at all. Because of that we will shift our coordinates. Now we will model few basic building models that we will use as a reference later. After we are done with modeling, we might need to shift back to original large coordinates. To do it we will open coordinate system parameters window and change system name from start to original. In a pop-out window you will be asked if you want to move SketchUp entities together with point cloud. Since we have few objects modeled we will choose yes. And as you can see looking into coordinates value, our project and all objects were moved back to original coordinates. If you need you can perform this coordinate switch at any time. If you have any questions about point cloud and drawn elements moving using coordinate transformation tool or any other undet for SketchUp functionality send us email to info at undet.com. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.